5. Filtering data. 80% of the work in any data project is in filtering the data. DJ Patel in Data Jiu-Jitsu. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach about some of the common operators in filtering the data, such as filter, for each, distinct, sample. By the end of this video, you will know how to filter out the unwanted rows, how to filter out unwanted columns, how to remove the duplicates, and on how to extract some sample data for analysis. This will be very beneficial in filtering out the unwanted data in your applications and keep only what is needed. How to filter out unwanted rows. Filter operator can be used to filter out or remove unwanted rows. In other words, it can be used to select the tuples, rows only that are needed. Suppose in our relation A, we need to include only those tuples that have salary greater than 6,800. We can use the filter operator as specified in the below statement. Let's try this in Shell. I am giving the load statement to load the HDFS file. Here I am specifying the schema to better define our data. I am applying the filter operation on A to fetch only those tuples that have salary field greater than 6,800. The filtered values will be stored in alias B. Now I am using the dump operator on B. Here you go. It displays only those tuples that have salary field greater than 6,800. How to filter out unwanted columns. For each operator can be used to filter out or remove unwanted columns. In other words, it can be used to select the columns that are needed. Suppose in our relation A, we need to include only the name and the age columns. Then we can use the for each operator as specified in the below example. To verify if the alias B contains only the name and the age columns, we can apply the dump operator on the alias B. Let's try this for each operator in shell. Let me re-execute the same load statement again. I am applying the for each operation on A to fetch only the first two columns and the results be stored in alias B. Now, let's apply the dump operator on B. And as expected, it displays only the first two columns of the tuples. How to remove duplicates. Distinct operator can be used to remove the row level duplicates from a file. To test this, let's add some duplicate tuples to our data set. I am copying the first two rows and creating duplicates for those two tuples. Saving it. Loading the file to the HDFS. This data set now contains five tuples out of which there are two duplicates. I am loading this file into an alias A. Then let's apply the distinct operator on alias A. The results are assigned to alias B. Let's verify if the duplicates have been removed by using the dump operator. Here you go. The row level duplicates are removed as expected. The alias B contains only the unique tuples. How to extract sample data. Sample operator can be used to select a random sample of data from a file. For example, if we need to select a random sample of tuples from our relationship A, then we can use sample operator. 
In the example, 0.3 represents 30%, which means one-third of the data will be displayed as sample. This lists one tuple, which is 30% of the data in the original tuple. Let's try this sample operator in Shell. Let's execute the same load statement again. Then I'm applying the sample operator on A to fetch only 30% of the data, so I am giving sample A 0.3. The results will be in alias B. Now let's display the contents of alias B by applying dump operator. Cool, we are seeing the 30% of the tuples from the original file, which is just one tuple. This is very useful to view small samples of data in huge datasets. In this video, we learned about common operators in filtering the data, such as filter, for each, distinct, and sample. This concludes the Apache Pigs beginner course. Ready to challenge the quiz? Take the assessments to evaluate how much you have learned out of this course and get certified.